Hi, Virgo. Welcome to space. Welcome now, whenever you arrive. Uh, okay, there wasn't, um, you didn't have any extra uh, messages, so we're just gonna jump into your cards. I hope you're good, by the way. All right. Yeah, let's open them up, eh? Virgo. Let's see what the energy is. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, give me a second to tune in, please. Okay, so you've done a lot of hard work there. You've done a lot to get here, right? Uh, I guess there's also something that could be f kind of protected at this time, or Maybe you've been kind of holding some, there's something you've been holding back or like, again, protecting, putting aside, you're kind of like, all right, let me, uh, it's sort of figuring out the warp and the weft of things. Um, but then from there, I feel like something opens up. Just a minute. I heard uh, no one can achieve perfect. Uh, but, but there is something very important here about how uh, one doesn't receive unless they give, right? Or you have to extend something to receive something, right? Like, you want a handshake, you gotta give the hand. Uh, you know. So I guess, what is it that you're wanting in this time? And I, and I see, I don't want you to lose faith in what you have been thinking about. Like maybe even really, really working towards. Um, I want you to keep that confidence, okay? You actually have three nines in a row, just like this, like a, a column of nines. Uh, just a second. Or her, okay, so Does a little conflict at times make you happy? 
like a little drama, right? Or a little, um, it's, there's like a game here. I, I heard it again, like, n not, nothing can really be perfect. Um, it's, uh, you can do a really, really, really good job, but it's almost impossible to do things perfectly. Because to err is human, right? Okay. Uh, what is this goal that you have? You have a goal. Um, I guess you do have to kind of think about things differently. I also feel like this would be a very nice time to go over what, like, the risk and gain is of doing, not doing whatever the thing is. But there's also something that starts to um, sort of streamline. There's also uh, one thing that you're, um, how do I see this? Okay, so again, to receive a handshake, you have to give to receive, right? But it's the same thing with any exchange. It's either gonna go one way or the other, right? You have to give or receive or you have to, uh, <clears throat> which is giving of yourself and then receiving something else, or you give something away that, like let go of something, and then there, that part needs faith, right? And then you receive something. And this is something to do with Aries. Uh, it's Aries and Cancer, um, so we're talking about two, two cardinal energies, and I feel like where well, don't let anyone twist your faith. Okay? And then there's something where, um, it's a 90s thing. It's like, don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? Like, um, okay. The heart of the matter here is expressing the importance of fairness right um <clears throat> and what is important and what needs to be handled oh i see the last three months, right? Um, now we're in a new, it's like equinox to solstice, right? You're, we're, it's now going, it's something's changing. <clears throat> and because where, something about where you are now
I guess the important part is, is to feel comfortable there so that wherever you go, <clears throat> I heard you bring with you what you know. And one of those things is to never let anyone twist your faith or take your faith. That's something that you let go of when why heard you don't feel like you can do something. Um, because you have to remember Virgo that your energy this is this is about being practical right and um, you can be very spiritual Virgo very spiritual to me uh, you know part of the reason the the hermit has the lantern is to point out well, kind of what's real or not. Um, and so your day-to-day -day situations um, need to be taken with great responsibility so that the energy... is directed accordingly and you do what you need to do. And I actually feel like it, there, there could be um, something with home. Um, it could also be like an idea. Again, like what have you been working on or putting your energy towards nurturing, protecting, right? Letting it kind of grow um, but now it's like you have to go in and be like really look at it again and see what you need to prune um, because again you can't grow you have to let go you have to you have to have something to be able to give something to even receive a seed right and then from there you have to think about things really practically about how this is, what this can do, what you can do with it, what you know about it. And, they, and what kind of environment that needs and all of that and what it needs. And, and then you have to let go of it, which has something to do with faith again. Uh, and then you go on your merry way and do all the other things that need to be done because there's there I do feel like there's a lot to be done um, and so I guess this is a also a question in what you can handle or what you need help with perhaps um, because you actually have a new tool right or maybe some of you need a tool to be able to do, you need the right tool for the right job, right? Applying, and that's gonna switch even just throughout the day, right? What, what you're using, a fork, a pen, a shovel, a key, right? So maybe you wanna take stock of that, like what the objects are that you hold in your hands during the day like what what are you holding in your hands and I feel like there should be many of them right take note of it, it will give you some sort of clue mmm yes it will okay so um, I actually feel like if you're dealing with fire people uh, fiery kinds of people, like, what do I see about this? Well, it went in other people and then it went back in yourself. So just, I guess when it comes to other people, just make sure that you're, um, 
you've already I heard you've already reflected at least in this time if there's if there's other people in your life that it's difficult or challenging or I don't know there, there's something about it that you you want them to be more comfortable maybe I don't know uh, remember that you've already reflected and like you know I heard you know what is already going on there specifically in relation to other people so what do you need what needs to be done uh, as if for instance those other people we're talking about adults here uh, well, no, no, let me let me back it up. If the other people were not physically there, like what is the energy? If there are certain things that you don't want to talk about <clears throat> for whatever reason or another, Or if you have to have any conversations with other people about things, this could even just be like trying about to say something. Give yourself 10 seconds, right? Just, that's not that long. It's not that long, right? People are impatient these days. 10 seconds is like someone will start talking about the weather. You know, um, so just give yourself a second. Um, this, this will help communication very much. Um, maybe you'll even realize that you don't need to say anything at all. Just a second. Okay, what are four things that need to be handled in your house right now? Like the home. What, what, what are four things that need to be handled every single day that you do in the house? Uh, if you do live with other people, that would help a lot. Maybe if you do also live with other people, I feel like this is a time for you to sit down and be like, okay, I do these four things. What do you do? Right? Not to, what do you do? <laughs> don't, don't buck up about it, but obviously. But um, maybe there's not, this is less about a comparison and more about just like, okay, I do this and they do that. And But, but I do feel like there should be a, um, I heard some sort of round table. Um, to help understand. And then see if there's anything missing in there. It needs to be added in. There could be a thing that's like, okay, well, actually, this needs to get done too. And no one, this isn't actually getting accomplished or this needs some energy in there too. Maybe we can split it or you figure out how to, again, I heard like manage. Um, and then this goes into weeks, right? And then that goes into like, uh, yeah, it's like days go into months. <clears throat> and then the months actually go into these, um, it's not exactly seasons, it's almost like every six months, uh, right? Maybe it's the solstice to the, the soonest solstice to the later, the latter equinox. Okay. Um, I guess you should make this from now until the end of the year also, um, Again, what needs to be done. And 
and I see maybe just overall looking at what you do every day. But I do feel like if you break it down in these smaller things, what you hold in your hand, what are the four main things, and then just in general, what do you, what do you do daily, is going to help you to understand more. And again, I see if you're dealing with other people, it's like, because what we see sometimes, or what we think we're doing, we do, but there's always these extra things. Which I guess equal time. Right, and I heard you want to be aware of your goals because, just a second. I do feel like it may be a, it could be a humbling time for you also. Um, guess it's also a time to be compassionate. Uh, maybe you want to bite your tongue a little bit now and again. Um, I heard out of love, right, um, Out of patience for yourself and I guess patience with other people. Okay, so actually I want to make one more line. My friend's mama made me a bracelet and it's got a magnet. So I catch all kinds of cool stuff sometimes. Okay. Helps you to know what's a pure metal too and what's not. What's pure and what's not. Okay. I'd like to look at, all right, yeah, Ace of Wands. Awesome. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. What would you like to do? Um, it's also something about, like, your father and the house. Or, um, I guess this is also faith in your family. Uh, what else do I see? Well, okay. No. There we go. I heard obstinate people are afraid. Just remember that. I heard have compassion for that. Even like defensive, defensive energy is afraid, um, sad, scared, right? So if whoever this is, please have compassion. Um, and I heard love people regardless. Uh, because remember, even for instance, if you are in a really good space, right? Uh, well, it took a lot of trial and error for you to arrive here, right? <clears throat> so, and you were stuck before, right? Way more stuck than you are, right? You've been super stuck, let's put it that way, right? So sad before, you know, so stuck before, and, um, so I heard, uh, believe in others and the path, like their, their own path and their own I don't know what you it's a, it, it's a, almost like what you believe is something can be I see don't don't lose faith in that um
maybe with whatever you're dealing with or working with too, you really want to go back to the very beginning. Like when you began it. Um, even if it's something for some of you, it hasn't gotten to the physical part yet. It's like, when did you start really, like when did you receive the idea or if you have made a plan about it, it's like, Put some, put some new energy into it, right? Maybe you want to um, some new time into it. What would it take to achieve it? It's kind of like assessing, right? It's like six month assessment. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Be proud of yourself for where you have gotten out of your own way. Okay? Um, and remember that nothing's perfect. Uh... It's almost like, oh wow. You're really walking towards something beautiful, okay? If you are, I heard, regulated in your time, um, I guess this goes into risk and gain, right? Then. It's like something becomes exalted. Something moves into a higher level of cre of creation. Uh, and this helps something to realize what the natural process really is. But also understanding like, like it's sort of like where to let things just flow. And then Taurus had a bit of this, like where to let things just flow in, in a kind of faith, but then also where to uh, put initiative or, you know, say yes, say no. It, it's a, it's a, it's an important thing. Because it's sort of like cause and effect. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I see again, please be happy for where you are. Um, and please be happy for, like, excited. Put some energy into where you will be going. Okay? Yes. Absolutely. Chariot to the Ace of Cups. Yes. Um... It's almost like, uh, why well, heard feeling good regardless, <laughs> feeling good regardless. Cause I guess that's the thing is goals, whatever future past. It's like, if you are in the present and doing what needs literally physically needs to be done and also parts of the spiritual what have you then you can't really go wrong there's there's because you're doing what needs to be done um it's when it's when like only one little tiny thing is it's it, there's too much of a the aperture is too small you know what i mean then then well sometimes we can lose our energy like that so, pull it back a little bit. Um, 
so you can maybe realize what some some of your options maybe you have more options than you think that you do more opportunity with something that you think that you do but you gotta kind of uh, Because you've already overcome something. And I just saw someone taking a band-aid off. It's like... So how would you like to ensure that... Um, like, what questions do you need to ask yourself to ensure that... Wherever you're going will be a place that feels... Well, I heard exalted, right? Um, and that which is foolish in your life. Uh, this reminds me of the Virgo Ascendant reading I did, but um, the whiteboard session, but it's, it's, you know. Well, I guess we're, we're always our own worst enemy at times, right? <laughs> So I heard, don't be yours and don't be anybody else's. No. That's where that purity, spiritual, you know, part of Virgo is is something that can be always. Uh, but please don't forget about the practical. Uh, that is, because everything is spiritual. I love you, Virgo. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Peace.